Good day. My name is Elisa Mawani Daniel. I'm the executive director at ACROSS. I have a very important message to communicate to you for all personnel working for ACROSS, including our staff, our volunteers, interns, and also partners and vendors as well. This message is about PSEAH. For those of you who do not know what PSEAH stands for, it stands for the Prevention of Sexual Exploitation, Abuse and Harassment. This is a very important topic for across staff, particularly given our mandate and our mission, and certainly also given our identity as a Christian organization committed to ending all forms of gender-based violence. That is why across adheres to a zero tolerance regarding sexual exploitation, abuse, and harassment. PSEAH is focused on preventing abuse of our beneficiaries, but also involves how we interact with the community and also with one another. These are people we are serving. Uh, this is particularly a poignant topic at the moment with a lot of our partners as they join us in this initiative and are holding us accountable in our responsibility to treat all people with dignity and respect. So to understand better this issue, let us review some key definitions. Number one, sexual exploitation, which means any actual or attempted abuse of a position of vulnerability or differential power or trust for sexual purposes, including but not limited to profiting monetarily, socially or politically from the sexual exploitation of another person. Secondly, sexual abuse, the actual or threatened physical intrusion of a sexual nature, whether by force or under unequal or coercive conditions. And then the other key item is sexual harassment, which differs from SEA, in that harassment occurs between staff members and SEA occurs against a beneficiary or a vulnerable member of the community. Please. Not that across does not tolerate either form of this misconduct. Gender-based violence or GBV is a type of SEA and is violence that is committed because of a person's gender. I think it is worth noting here that sexual exploitation and abuse is unacceptable behavior and is prohibited for all humanitarian aid workers. This includes across vendors and partners as well as staff members, volunteers, and interns. ACROSS is therefore committed to the six core principles put forth by the Interagency Standing Committee on SEA. Let's review these principles one by one. Number one, sexual exploitation and abuse by humanitarian workers constitutes acts of gross misconduct and therefore are grounds for termination of employment and possible criminal prosecution. Number two, sexual activity with children, meaning persons under the age of 18, is prohibited regardless of the age of majority or local age of consent. Mistaken belief regarding the age of a child is not a defense at all. Number three, exchange of money for employment, goods or services for sex, including sexual favors or other forms of humiliating, degrading, or exploitative behavior is prohibited. This includes exchange of assistance that is due to beneficiaries. Number four, any sexual relationship between those providing humanitarian assistance and protection and a person benefiting from such humanitarian assistance and protection that involves improper use of rank or position is prohibited. Such relationships undermine the credibility and integrity of humanitarian aid work. Five, where a humanitarian worker develops concerns or suspicions regarding sexual abuse or exploitation by a fellow worker, whether in the same agency or not, he or she must report such concerns via established agency reporting mechanisms. And then number six, which is final, is humanitarian workers are obliged 
to create and maintain an environment which prevents sexual exploitation and abuse and promotes the implementation of their code of conduct. Managers at all levels have particular responsibilities to support and develop systems which maintain this kind of environment. It is therefore important to acknowledge the responsibility of every ACROSS staff member and all the people working with ACROSS to report any knowledge of sexual exploitation and abuse through our reporting mechanisms. This is either through the ACROSS leadership team, ALT, the project manager, your line manager, or through other feedback mechanisms such as our whistleblowing email or anonymous whistleblowing form on the ACROSS website found at www.across-ssd.org forward slash whistleblowing. Another resource is the PSEAH hotline in English at plus 211-920-111-333. In Arabic, it is plus 211-920-111-888. Remember that it is your duty to report any suspicion of sexual exploitation or abuse, even if you have no proof. The matter will then be investigated to determine if a misconduct has been actually committed or has occurred. Finally, I would like to conclude by saying that PSEAH is a really critical issue, not just for across, but for everyone. Sexual exploitation and abuse harms the very people that we are supposed to protect and help. It is an issue that can very much damage the reputation of an organization. And I think it is important that we all work together. And when I say all of us, I mean everybody affiliated with ACROSS to work to achieve the ending of any sort of violence or gender-based violence, particularly against women and children. Uh, thank you very much, and may God bless you all.